night seven of the Australian Open Championships of 2009. Another testing rally here. Dockage coming out on top after starting with a double in this match has settled well in this game. That will settle the nerves that were no doubt magnified by that double fault on the first point. Well, we might have seen a bit of an indicator as to where Klebanova thinks that she might be able to exploit Dockage. She put three or four balls cross-court forehand into the top corner there, so maybe that's somewhere that she is really thinking of trying to exploit throughout this match. already from Dockage. Was out of court and off balance there, Elena Dockage. Still managing to find the winner up the line. Look at that energy even early in this match. Thank you. 
play. Barnaba's first serve percentage have improved as this week has worn on. 55% in round one, 60% in round two, 64% in round three. She'll need to be about that number tonight, you would think, to beat Dockage. I think when you get to this stage of a Grand Slam too, it's all about belief that you deserve to be in these latter stages of the draw and Clay Barnava never having been to this stage before. That may be a question mark. Dokic, of course, has been to that stage, but not here at the Australian Open. And it was an awful long time ago now that she was. Hopefully she can remember what the feeling was like. reminded Dokic what the feeling was like. Of course, she's won a lot of matches last year throughout 2008, but having a whole stadium f full of people cheering for you, it's wonderful. didn't work, but it may be something that she might try. You're exactly right, Pete. It didn't work. But Dokic saw that Clay Banova was a long time, a long way behind the baseline. Good couple of metres. And there's the attempted drop shot. Fifteen. Oh. Not a bad second serve there from Dockett, really jamming her opponent. when she is 14. serving. The server can dictate, really, the pace of play. And she plays very quickly. Yeah, and Klebanova is the other way. Oh. Well, did that fall out? That was signalled good. Well, I would challenge that. Second that seemed to fall out. No challenge, though. No. Oh. Doesn't matter. It turns into a love game for Yelena Dokic, so she's got a pretty good start and leads 2-1 in this opening set. Well, that was pretty quick, 186 kilometres an hour. Big flat one from Clay Barnava. Now 
Kept versus. First serve might be quick on occasions, but the second serve, considerably less venomous. A couple in the 120s. There's certainly going to be some opportunities there for Dockage to be aggressive off that return to serve. We know one thing about both of these players, and that is that three sets shouldn't hold any fears for them. Dokic has been to three sets in all three matches so far. Klebanova straight sets in the first round, three sets in both rounds two and three. Game. Well, this uh, giving herself her own brand of encouragement because she's probably not going to get a lot from the crowd here tonight. But you know that before you go out there. That's exactly. no surprise. Yep. And you prepare yourself mentally for that. And having a massively pro home crowd can work the other way as well. Yeah, if you take the, the crowd out of the equation, all of a sudden they become quiet. Your opponent starts thinking about things a bit more. Oh. And Yelena knows. She knows that just about everyone in this crowd wants her to win. You know, so that's a bit of pressure. Thank you. 
had set that point up well, Dokic. But Clay Barnover did a good job of just making her play one more ball, tried to overhit the next one. You get the feeling the first break of serve is going to assume giant proportions in this match. Crowd urging Yelena Dokic into believing she doesn't have to worry about being down two break points. Important first break, and it goes the way of the Russian. The number 29 seed, Alyssa Clay Barnaba, has the break and leads by three games to two in the first set. The first decisive moment of this fourth round clash goes the way of Alyssa Clay Barnaba of Russia. She gets the early break. A couple of interesting service stats. Clay Barnaba, when her first serve goes into play so far, she's won every point. Dokic's first serve percentage is at 47%. That will need to lift. She had to wait a long time. I, mean, I know that the uh, ball boy had to pick something up from the court then. But Klobanova certainly takes a long time to serve. Alyssa thought about a challenge here, but then thought better of it. That's, ooh, jails. Dr. Lee the call. call. On the On left face, the ball was called E. This is very close. Elena seems to be reasonably confident. The ball is out. But no, wishful thinking. 13-15. Dr. Chess, two challenges for me. Six as well. We haven't seen too many areas where she's looked vulnerable, but the second serve is certainly one of them for Clay Barnaba. It looks like that's going to be the best opportunity for Dockage to play an aggressive shot and try and get on top. That first strike, so important. Break back points straight away for the Australian.
That's too good. Yes. Two excellent backhands. That one opened the court up. And this one just sealed it. Advantage. This time it was the forehand side. Here's the change up. She's complaining, but she can't do it now because she had to stop and challenge straight away. I think the ball was out. I think the ball was out as well. Yes. Yes. But of course, unless you do it immediately, oh, maybe it looked good from there. Perhaps it just did skid on her a bit. Yes. Some nods of affirmation from Yelena Dokic's support box. I wonder if Mariana Alves is keeping an eye on her timepiece in the chair. Clay Barnaba is certainly pushing the envelope a little bit with the time she's taking. A little bit fortunate here, Dockage. The ball was just getting shorter and shorter. There was the one that Kay Barnaba thought that she could really give a bit of a whack to and just overplayed it. But it was there for the hitting. Break point number two in what could turn out to be a vital sixth game of the opening set. Support team, boyfriend and coach. And we're back on terms in set one. Three games on.
Oh, there was a touch of the light and heel. It's about that. They went on play challenging call on the left base. The ball was called out. Oh, I don't know why you'd bother. No, I don't know why you would. Maybe her uh, her coach, who's sitting down this end, by Barnabas, maybe said it's worth another look, but they wouldn't think so. It's a bit of a waste, really, isn't it? Well, she might need that challenge later in the set. We saw Roger Federer run out of challenges at one stage today. Two challenges, two challenges really. She's beginning to find her rhythm. 40 low. And all of a sudden, Dockage is the one dictating the point, standing up in the court, making Clay Barnover move from side to side. Ascendancy were on serve though at 4 3 in the first set. Now, this conversation has been instigated by Mariana Alves there. I wonder whether she might just have given a little bit of notice to Clay Barnaby and to say, I'm keeping an eye on you because the Russian didn't say anything to the chair umpire. I, I wouldn't doubt for one minute that that's what the conversation was about. So, the umpire doing a job. She's not exactly rushing. Well-constructed point there from Clay Barnover using the court. Well, Dockic just forced a long way behind the baseline, eventually found the place for that winner cross court. We just saw a glimpse of Clay Barnover's coach, Julian Vespan. Oh, 
unforced error count is really interesting in this match so far. Clyde Barnaby 13. Dokic has made four unforced errors, so she's made a lot of forced ones along the way. Game yeah. so we remain on serve. Four games on serve. That Achilles heel we were talking about, Liz, that very pedestrian pace second serve, of course, what it does, it does come in slowly, but it forces Dockage to create her own pace off the second serve. Well, that's hard to do, you know, time after time. But, you know, you can't expect to hit a winner of every ball, but what you can do is be aggressive and have a mindset of moving forward. Fifteen and look to move forward after you've hit the shot. Can't expect to hit winners off all the f second serves that you get. Perfect placement. That's what Dockage has to do. When the ball's there to be hit, she has to be courageous. She has to go after it. sort of mindset has served her so well so far in these championships she won't die wondering that's the way she plays her best tennis well this is a huge point This time it's Dokic who is taking a time to serve. We said earlier she needed to elevate her first serve percentage. It has from 47 when it was mentioned to 56 now. This is a huge moment again. Capitalise on this point of Kaibanova. It is serving for the set. Don't need to be told where the crowd's allegiance lies. And that'll do it. So the third break of the first set goes the way of the number 29 seed. Clay Barnaba will serve for the set in a moment.
this point of these sorts of games always tremendously important. Love you. Fifteen. Watch this backhand on the full stretch, almost behind it. Ivanova did a good job, not just of getting that ball back, but getting it far enough away from Dokic that she had no chance. That left hand really took over and brought that racket head around the ball. like that one she's just a gutsy player isn't she Alyssa just really hangs tough when she needs to and waits for the opportunity to hit the winner thank you, thank you. but it didn't miss by much. She went for it. Unforced error number 15 brings up another one of these clutch points. <laughs> now, what can Dockage do? She knows that this won't be quick. She's inside the baseline to receive. time in the match. Dokic with the opportunity of negating the break straight away. match. 
and a bit of laughter going on there. And Alyssa not happy because that replay, unfortunately, was a little ill-timed. Thank you. Yeah, you can't blame the crowd. No, not at all. Got the replay in there a little bit faster. Tennis so far in this Australian Open, Lena Dokic, and still gets to that one easily. Three double faults for Dokic, two for Clay Barnaba. No aces yet for Yelena and one for Alyssa. Thirty. Just needed one more step there, Dokic, to get in behind that ball. She was out of position. to do that. Oh. And what a time to do that. Yes. So she's gone double fold, ace, double fold. So far in this game, all of these games so hard fought. Neither player able to get a distinct advantage within a game, let alone the match. This time it's Alyssa's turn to be pulled wide and be out of position. Another chance for Dockett to hold. Yes. Three double faults in this 11th game. How costly will that prove? Variety, you're getting it here on the dockage serve. Fifteen. 
brain freeze. Elena's saying, what was I trying there? Why would you not challenge? Well, the umpire's overruled and said the ball's oh, good. Oh, OK. So it's Thank Dockage's goodness. point. So then it would be up to Clay Barnover to say, well, can I have a look at that? And Clay Barnover just glanced up and saw the big screen. <laughs> Definitely would have been worth a challenge from her point of view. Point once again set up by an excellent return of serve, but it was off a second serve. is going on in the stadium. prospect for most of the journey in this first set that Thank Elena Dockage would take it. She's got two opportunities of doing just that. Oh. There seemed a suspicion about that first serve. Slow, wasn't it? Took all the pace off it. Hey, Barnover at 141 kilometres, but once again, unless you challenge immediately, you can't go back. And you better be pretty sure if you challenge. Five of them in the first set. Not much difference between Elena's first serve and second serve as far as pace goes. She doesn't really have the kick serve. That's, That's too good. Low yes, the second serve is just a slower version of the first. It's pretty flat. It's the winner off the return. What a great return that was when you consider the second serve was 166, so it was a good one. Three break points straight away. Oh. 
50 well, she does go down a break it'll be nothing she's not used to in this match did it twice in the first set and she's okay, going to be faced with the same prospect again so just a moment ago, the euphoria from the crowd. Now, a little hush as the Russian makes the running early in set two. Third time yesterday the world record attendance broken for a single day at the Grand Slam in excess of 63,000 people a couple of times already this week and it got even bigger yesterday it's inevitable in a match like this that you're probably going to go through a bit of a trough, a bit of a flat spot at some stage. And Klaibanova probably feels as though her opponent is in that place at the moment. So she's got to make the most of it while it happens. When you talk about a flat spot, sometimes it can take so much effort out of you, not only physically but mentally, to win a set. So there is a possibility of having just a little letdown in the first couple of games. Unforced error there from Dockage. stage the unforced errors were 13 to 4 with Clay Barnover having committed more at the moment it's 2019 so from that point it's been 16 to 6 with Dockage making more the side that Dockage is directing most of the traffic to, the forehand to of Clay Barnover. her best forehand, the one that she hits where she opens up the court. Dockage just pulled way wide of the doubles alley, just too much court to cover. She does something she hasn't been Clay able Barnabas. to do in this match so far. Elisa Clay Barnover, and that is consolidate the break. Match in its second hour. In front of a spellbound crowd at Rod Laver Arena. Night seven of the Open of 2009. Oh. 
15. 15. That was a hot shot too. From Dockage. I saw the first serve there. Yelena really falling off to the left, off balance, hitting that serve. Net for serve. <laughs> Must have been the tiniest touch, but it's electronically recorded. Fifteen. A bit flat, doesn't she, Dockage? Just at the minute, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Barnabas going to think about it. It looked good. Clever on the call on the right, on the right side, the ball's called in. Clever has two challenges Well, that's a very good hold from the line under pressure. And Balaba had the blow to each other mid-game. Dokic comes through, but it's the Russian with the break, leading 2-1 in the second set. This has been really dramatic so far. Fifteen. Pace number two, 170 kilometres an hour. All the momentum going forward.
15. Just 114 kilometres an hour again, that second surf. Tried to hit that slower paced forehand that time, but Claire Barnava not in a position to do it. She was too far back in the court. Poor shot selection. Little opening here for Dokic. Again, another peak at the second serve. This would hurt. Identical yes. backhand there from Dokic, really ripped it. I thought she may have lost the opportunity when she let that ball bounce rather than coming forward, but she didn't panic. Found the court, cross court. That second serve just cleared the net. Once again, Dokic being the aggressor. Elisa well, will be hoping and praying for a first serve here. game despite a little hard palpitation late in it. Well you almost knew that Clebana was leaders. going to take Three the games. pace off that first serve and just get it in. 145 K she didn't want to hit a second serve. Dokic just unable to capitalise on it fully. towards the west of Melbourne. Dokic is challenging the call on the left serve. The ball is called out. I think the call was OK. at the moment. She's had to work a fair bit despite the fact that she's up in the second set. She's done a fair bit of work. Thank you. 
chip it. This could be the time to do it. Four kilo. Good play there from Dokic, and she knows that Clay Barnaver is going to have the movement forward. Plenty of space there for the lob up and over. What a convincing yeah. service game. She's behind on the scoreboard, but you feel as though there may be just a little change in momentum here. Clay Barnaver, 3-2 three three up with the break in the second set. So any second serve that you miss is just such a wasted opportunity. Mm. You can just see Elena Dokic there just slapping herself. That's one area where Clay Barnab has done really well in this set. She's only dropped two points so far when the second serve has been called upon. That's a good point. Good first serve, followed up by a big backhand. What a difference a serve makes. Really pulled Dokic out of position to the middle of the court. Unforced errors in this second set. Dokic 11, Clay Barnaba 2. She's been able to hold her serve to love. That's the way to take any suspicion of a momentum change away. Play Dokic when she's in the right position here. This next shot, she doesn't overplay it. She knows that if that one comes back, she still has a good shot at winning the point. Well, the fitness question is being posed by both of them. They're both being worked from side to side around the court, covering a lot of territory. Will it be the survival of the fittest in the end? Four. 
Courageous shot from Dockich here. She was well out of court. Over the high part of the net. Oh, Dockage can't believe it. She actually set that point up pretty well. The slice down low. And then that forehand just got away from it. was to be an overrule, that would be the line for Mariana Alves in the chair. And she convert one of these next two points. And you sense we're at a fork in a very important road right here. Good serve. It was a good serve, yeah. 180 kilometres an hour right up the middle. Still one to come, though. begging. Dockage actually didn't even move into the court. She was behind the baseline when she made contact with that slow second serve, 123 kilometres. What a let off. What a moment. Lady. Yeah, she knows how important that was. Right at that vital time. Not out of the woods just yet, though. Dockage do with this second serve. She's standing outside the baseline at the moment.
Ahmed Ben Dokic. Dokic was out of that point the whole way. Ivanova had the upper hand from start to finish, and somehow Dokic wins the point. And brings up break point number three in this eighth game of the second set. has got to be a psychological blow to Clay Barnaby. Yes, there was just a couple of unforced errors there from the Russian, wasn't there? Dokic was the one that was just hanging in. Thank you. will get on her too if she does that that not doing herself any favors that was almost a look away shot watch this in replay watch where her head is yeah she does uh, has a bit of a funky action there effective shot though well, so is that. 15. Couple of quick points there. Opportunity to come in 15. and perhaps Dockage thought she might have been, but she elected to stay and it paid dividends. young lady every time it looks as though the momentum is swinging against her she's been able to come up with something in the second set and this time it's consecutive breaks in her favor and she leads 5-4 a couple of little mascots sitting out there with their back to the play someone better turn them around because this is exciting all she needs to do is to hold serve here to take us to a third set Elisa Klebanova, the number 29 seed of Russia, serving at 5-4. Fifteen. No pace again on that first serve, but placement. Nothing with that forehand from Dokic. Good racket head speed. Follow through finishes up around the head.
I think she changed her mind. Mm -hmm. she, could, she was going to hit it and then ended up to be neither one nor the other. It wasn't a drop shot and it wasn't a shot that had good depth. It was just a shot that sat in the middle of the court and said, hit me. All the noise at the moment coming from the young lady herself, and well it might. Two chances to take this fourth round match into a third and deciding set. dealt with by the Australian. <laughs> Pressure back on the shoulders of the Russian. <laughs> Got to be right in on this second serve. There's the serve and replay, but got the line and only just got the outside of it. And Hawkeye said the call was good. is a tough shot. Point number two to level at five all. Oh, my goodness, 
what a shot it was right in the corner to set yeah, it up. That last one just missing by Dokic. She knew exactly what she wanted to do with it. It would have been a winner. Just catching the tape. Too many unforced errors in the second set from the Australian. But it's still there. Look at the perspiration just dripping. Great serve and a big moment. 174 kilometres an hour. It wasn't an ace, but it was as good as one. Set point number three. showed that, Hawkeye showed that, but she made no gesture about a challenge until after the winner had been hit. Oh! Well, that might be worth a challenge. Dr. challenge the call. On the right side, the ball is pulled out. Can we get any more drama going on here? Oh, this falls out. Some people are just looking. You think? Just about the loudest cheer for the night for Hawkeye. Oh, and the crowd are just loving this. Good luck. This is the drama that sport can bring you on the big stage right here. First the return and then that one. It's not easy to hit a winner from behind the baseline. Break point number three. circumstances. This is far from normal. Fifteen months. Both players just looking for the lines. They're not holding back. Not 
something. But you've got to figure that this ball is going to go cross court too. It's the one she likes to hit. Thank you. And if it's not in, then it's 6-5 by Barnaba. Hold your breath. It is in. We've got three players contributing to this excitement at the moment. Yelena, Elisa, and the one guys, Christian Nobis. <laughs> Excessive breaks of serve. Can play Barnaba. Finally close it out. We'll find out in a minute. Fifteen. The coach, Julian Vespan. It's awful sitting and watching and having no control. That's one thing you've got to give to her. It's not just hitting the ball back down the middle of the court. On the previous point, it was the cautious backhand that got Faye Barnaba into trouble. On that occasion, both those backhands just so well struck. Two points away from levelling the match. going to be set point number four and if needed it will be followed by set point number five second set towards the end and now we can start again and it's the best of one it was bang 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 from clay barnava at the start of the second set she got to love 40 she got dockage to love 40 
Tough shot from Dokic. That ball didn't come up very high at all. It was a slice return. Good knee bend to get down there. Completely catching her opponent off balance here by hitting that one up the line. The Russian was looking for the one cross court. Exactly what Liz Smiley was talking about. It's a positive start to the third set compared to giving the initiative away as she did at the start of the second. Well, I think she was very aware, Elena Dokic, after it happened in the second set, to, to do everything in the power to make sure it didn't happen in the third set. here will meet Danara Safina in the quarterfinals who somehow managed to manufacture a win against Elise Cornet of France the number 15 seed earlier today when Cornet led 5-2 in the third set saved a couple of match points there too Danara Safina Off the shoelaces. Yeah, She's asking for that ball back. Hey, Barnaby, she's not going away, is she? Nope. She just looks awkward on the baseline from time to time, but she makes her opponents play so many balls. Just ask Elena Dokic. She'll tell you all about it. We've played 162 points in this match, and they've both won 81. Can't get much tighter, really. We already knew that. Oh, 
got to be for a serve of that pace. 15 It's hard to do it all the time, though, you know, Pete. Beautifully struck there. Straight through the line of flight of the ball. Create the pace. We never miss any from up here, do we? I haven't missed one yet. <laughs> Just a little glance there from Yelena up to Mariana Alves in the chair as Elisa goes back to her ways of taking her time. As soon as that return went mid-court to that backhand, you just knew that Dokic was in trouble. Do as much as you can with that second serve, and that is just inside the baseline. Perfectly struck. Yes! It was almost as if it was in slow motion. The crowd just took a deep breath while the ball was in flight. Tokic knew that the Russian was close to the net. It's about the second or third time we've seen it go up and over. Break point for a two love lead for Dokic. Yeah, it's a good serve. Advantage. Yeah, they don't have much pace on it. it really pull Dockets wide. Good serve as well, firing it at the body, jamming Dokic up. Another good hold from Klebanova. They've both broken each other five times in the match, but it's been Dokic who's presented the more opportunities of breaking serve and squandered them. She's had 12 break points, whereas Klebanova's only had seven and broken five times.
Kilu. Stayed calm there, Dokic. Even though she was going back, she knew she had plenty of time to hit this forehand or plenty of court to hit it into. And to her credit, Klabenova continues to chase down everything. Great aggressive play from the Russian. 15-15. Putting absolutely everything into it. Great stuff, isn't it? Both girls just desperate, absolutely desperate to win this match. Will she have a look? No. 14. Well, the replay it looked out. Hawkeye said it was out by all of two millimetres. Knocking the challenge on the right serve, the ball's out. Perhaps a little reaction to the crowd's reaction as well. They booed and hard. This might be a good challenge. Oh. Huh. Second serve. that ball that hit the top of the net. And then had to struggle to stay in the point. Dokic and then misses the forehand. Well, this what is, a fighter. This Both is exactly girls. what happened in the previous service game. But with a different result. So the first break of the deciding set again goes to Elisa Klebanova and she's got the edge 2-1. Alyssa wants that same ball, I think. Not that tennis players are superstitious or anything. Oh, no. 
None of them bother to put a left sock on in play, instead of the right first or oh, anything that like helps. that. That helps. Well, again, the net does her no favours. Julian Vespan sensing Good things evening. are turning. And again, Clay Barnaver is the one making Dopic play one more ball. And once that hit the net, Dopic was really a bit of a sitting duck. of Dokic having to create the pace on the ball. Not easy to do. This match has been littered with so many clutch vital points. Oh! oh. Flattened it out here, the open it just didn't have anything to keep it in. No wrist snap at the top. Break back point. Alves won't even think of overruling unless it's a big mistake. And it's that forehand. It's such a good shot. Yeah. That's a pretty ordinary call, all things considered. Such a great shot. Really opens the court up. We've seen it time and time again in this match. Big serve again on break point. She's come up with a couple of very good serves at critical moments. As much as the crowd is pulling for Dockage, you have to admire Elisa's fighting spirit. That was break point number 14 for Dokic in this match. Five times she's been able to capitalise. Barnaba, and she looks 
absolutely stunned. Must forget that that even happened. Block it out of her mind. It comes on the third break point of this fourth game. Julian Vespan. Advantage, Hard to know whether the coach was looking sheepish or mystified. She's seen off three break points in this game. for Dokic to maybe just hang tough early in this third set. The conversion rate for break points is not good for Dokic though. Pete, you've already mentioned that. You know, you get so many chances. Then you have game point. You serve a double fault. That is double fault number three. Nine for Dokic. What a significant game this is going to turn out to be, one way or the other. It's not the first time we've said that, though, is it? No. It's been that sort of match. High drama so far. A bit more to come by the look of it. Advantage. Advantage. Oh, every now and then, Dokic is just a little impatient. Wants to finish it just a little bit too quick. Sometimes the ball is there to be hit, and on that particular occasion, not quite there. Dokic not quite behind the ball. It got up a little bit high. Seen off by Clay Barnavert 
and she maintains the advantage, consolidates the break and leads 3-1. So I found that warning for coaching a bit odd. Mariana Elvis, she must have heard something that indicated that she was suspicious of it, but Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that close. Lovely. Mm -hmm. 13 millimetres. Dockage needs to be very, very careful in this service game. Love After such a, a draining battle in that fourth game, turn around Love and have to yourself. It could just slip away from her in the twinkling of an eye here. Once again, Klebanova just making Dokic play one more ball. If Dokic comes up with the winner, then she wins the point. That is tiring. Game after game. I mean, who would have thought that, that ball would come back? But it does every time. Absolute dogfight every game. How many of these backhand cross court winners do you think Dockage has hit? Well, her backhand winner count is 19. Cross court would be a pretty high percentage. And off a second serve, higher again. Mm.
Something different, really. Oh, she's got to convert one of these, Dockage. These are break points number 16 and 17 for the match for Yelena Dockage. said before it's hard enough to win a game let alone win the match <laughs> the champions there my help those are the cheap points recently 30 love <laughs> Well, you've just got to throw a couple of bottles in to keep the drama. Second serve, so flat. That's the most double fault she's served in any match so far this week. Because the groan actually came from the crowd when they thought the ball was going to be long. It wasn't so much when it landed, but it was just off the rack. So did they anticipate rolling? Here we go again. Another hard fought game. Five points each. Serving to level it up at four games all. Perfect. 15. Remember, Duckett has got no challenges left. That might be significant. So even if she thought this ball was out, she has to rely on the umpire and the linesman to make the call. Back to the olden days. Oh. That's too good. 
beautiful backhand cross court. One of the shots of the match. The crowd was, you can hear a pin drop during this Good point. Job. That is stunning. Can't do anything about that one. Even Dokic knows what a great shot that was. Been, it might be an opportune moment just to remind those of you who don't know that we're going to have a tie break in the third set. It'll be an advantage set. Could be here for a while to come yet. <laughs> a love game. Just what she would have wanted. Four games. Preserving some of that precious energy for the battle ahead. And Dockage has been broken six times so far in this match. Thank you. Let her off the hook a little bit. As has so often been the case, a moment of brilliance followed by one that cancels it out. the retrieving forehand and there's the winner and she didn't overplay it either pick the spot and hit it so Dockage is the first of five is that going to prove important they will be serving to keep this thing alive by Barnaba serving now to continue it just a little bit longer or maybe a lot longer for that. If there was any doubt about it, she couldn't have challenged. Ah! 
That's a tough point. Oh, that's a courageous shot, isn't it? 30, 30, 30, 30. First serve, Doffert maybe could have done a little bit more with it, but that was the courageous shot. Dockage has been trying to keep the ball away from Klobanova's backhand with good reason. She lists it as her favourite shot, apart from her serve. Dockage and just use the pace of the serve. slow as many of the second serves she's rolled in and she went for it New down goals. the middle as well so she's holding her nerve 132 kilometers an hour she Five. holds a nerve she holds a serve and we'll level again Dockett should like a couple of those shots back again unforced errors number five. They're five each in that department. What about that in that situation? And in that position at the court. We'll get a good look here. Third Dublin has to move back to hit that forehand. So she's a good distance behind the baseline. realising that there's nothing that Dokic can do about this circumstance now. Even if she thought that ball was out, she had to keep playing. Over got the shot she wanted. She pulled Dockage wide, just overplayed it. Can't believe she missed that. Thank you. 40 15.
well played. Not an easy shot to hit this juncture in the match. The slice from Dockage stays low. Hey, Barnabas just plays it with ease. Gets underneath the ball. Look at this. Not easy to hit that shot. Good racket head speed. Not easy to hit that when you're really tight. Oh, oh Dockage is down and hopefully all right. Could there be any more drama in this match? Let's hope she hasn't rolled an ankle or anything. Mariana Alves straight out of the chair. May also result in a bit of a graze on the hand when you fall unexpectedly and brace yourself. Oh. Oh. For anyone who's ever done their ankle, that's not something that you want to see happen. Now Clay Barnaba is well aware of that too. She's seen the replay, but she can't afford Ready to be to thinking about that. I actually can't believe that Yelena hasn't sat down and called for the trainer and taken a minute to... Maybe, some attention. Maybe there's just so much adrenaline in her body at the moment. another angle it doesn't look any better from the reverse angle either well, if she can just keep going even though she's behind in this game she's still only three points away from the match <laughs> trying to end the point quickly That second serve just cleared the net. Game. So reinforcing once more. No tie break. The number of challenges for both players is now reset to three. So that's what okay. Dockage had to do to wait until the end of the sixth game. She would have been well and truly aware of that. We could be here for a while yet. about that. 30. Temptation might be to change what she's been doing, what's got her to this point.
One more ball, and there's the reaction. Synchronised cheering. shy of three hours. This has been a classic. The ball is of which the dockage story continues, perhaps. Elena, we love you so much because you are courageous, I tell you.
Yeah, um, it was always going to be a tough match tonight. Um, she's had a great win two nights ago, and she played well. Um, I was really exhausted physically, um, but I, I just kept on fighting, and the crowd got amazing in that third set. And um, it was hard to stay positive in that third set after I lost the second, and I was a breakdown in the third. But you know, I kept on fighting, and um, it paid off. Do you know? Um when you came into this tournament as a wild card, I mean, be honest with us, what, what did you want? Did you want to win one matches or two matches? I mean, you always want to do well, but, um, you know, I wanted to put up a good performance in the first round, and uh, once I got through that first round, I was really happy, and, um, you know, my goal kind of, um, I achieved my goal for the tournament. I wanted to get that first match out of the way. Uh, but, um... This is, uh, this is unbelievable. To be in the quarterfinals of Grand Slam is just amazing. You, um, you hadn't made any other plans for this week, had you? <laughs> no, I was going to have the week off and really was <laughs> looking forward to playing Fed Cup next week. And, you know, uh, you know just have a couple of days off. I haven't had days off in a, in a while, but I guess those plans are scratched now, so. <laughs> now, can I just tell you something? Do you know after 2006, you were ranked 621 in the world. As of tonight, you're back in the top 100. It's, uh... It's great to, to have done so much in one tournament. And um, my goals for the year were, you know, hopefully to be in the top 50 by the end of the year. But, um, you know, hopefully... <laughs> I, guess, I guess those goals are scratched now too. I have to change them as well. But it's, it's amazing, yeah. Now, just before you leave us, I just want to ask you about your racket bag here. Who are these, who are these fellas on your racket bag? Are they the good luck charms or...? Yeah, it's actually... You know, when it's like this five all, six all in the third, um, they're my coaches, you know, they help me. We talk to each other. <laughs> now, what are they, do they have names? No, um, just some of my favorite um, cartoon characters and just, uh, <laughs> just some presents from a coach, so. I'm glad you think so deep during a match. Anyway, Yelena Dokic is through to the quarterfinals. Whatever it is that Tweety Bird is saying, Obviously, it's working because now Kaibanova joins Pasha and Chuck Katadza and Wozniacki as victims of Yelena Dokic in Melbourne. I can hardly believe this story is unfolding. Thanks to Liz Smiley. What a match that was to enjoy. If you didn't enjoy that, you're pretty hard to please. Yelena Dokic going on to meet Danara Safina in the quarterfinals.